of Movie Talk. Today we're going to review the movie I'm Still Here, a documentary on Joaquin Phoenix. And we have a special guest critic, John Muse. Mr. John Muse. John Muse. There he is. Howdy. We got a game going here. <laughs> what are we playing? Uh, you guys ready for this? Yeah, I think so. So, what do you guys think about that movie? So, we just watched the movie I'm Still Here. It's about Joaquin Phoenix's transition from acting to his hip hop career, <laughs> so called hip hop career. And yeah, his whole phase where he gave up on acting and quit movies and decided to be a hip hop star. As far as documentaries go, very inter interesting. Interesting, yeah. Actually, it's the worst I've ever seen. The worst documentary you've ever seen? Yes. I don't even think it was a documentary. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what the hell I, was um, going on. I, I think it's kind of more along the lines of uh, Spinal Tap, uh, um, <laughs> except that this Spinal that Tap far, went to 11, and this one went to about four and a half out of six stars is what I give it. The thing that I really liked about it is, as far as um, rapping goes, he um, he really had some good raps. Oh yeah, his yeah. stage presence. Which one was your favorite? Well, um, I never caught the actual mm -hmm. titles to the songs. Um, and you couldn't catch a lot of the words either. You could not catch some. Oh no, he did. He did some f fantastic. Uh, <laughs> Lyrical rhyming, um, his timing was good. His stage presence was a little bit to, left a little and to be desired. Except his voice to I don't think was right for rap. Well, yeah, that, I think <laughs> that's just yeah. yeah. I mean, his hairstyle, <laughs> his okay. his beard. Even though I did hear there's a study that nine out of ten women prefer guys with beards. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, nine hey, out of ten. Nine out of ten. Wow, that's what, that's that. a study that you I. You guys mind if I have a banana? <laughs> no, let's keep it in your pants. <laughs> <laughs> no, there was a lot of stuff that uh, he probably shouldn't have did, but he put in the. Oh yeah, documentary. No, I know, but, but the thing is, whether, I don't think whether it, it was real or not. His career. The question is whether it's all a hoax. Was part no, it's a movie. It's not I a hoax know. at all. It's a movie. Well, the, going on that the, the Letterman's the was a hoax. The, oh yeah, the movie. Right. But the question is whether the movie was all staged or was some of it staged or was it all real or what? Well, you could. You, I, I think I think for the most part, um, just yeah, about true. everything in that was staged, oh, right. um, with the exception of some of the responses from you know like. Um, oh yeah. All the the uh, the Hollywood extras and, oh, yeah, and, 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 and all the, those. Uh, but their part of it, Joaquin and Casey, did they stage all their end of it? Oh yeah, that was totally <laughs> planned out. And yeah. you know, the paparazzi could only do so much. But I think it was really um, a showing of how gullible those dumbasses are that we they'll sit there and believe anything that's spoon fed to them as you know i mean because it's there's no way that that the guy but even if he was on drugs it, i mean it was it was all fake but they didn't necessarily believe it because a lot of people thought it was a hoax from the beginning did you believe it when i saw it on tv i don't, I don't know what to think so i thought this was the first time you said I, I meant the joaquin phoenix quitting acting and starting a rap career and but he wasn't quitting acting he was in a movie i mean that was this, before he yeah, quit acting, that's the oh, this furthest away mean, from yeah, quitting acting oh i'm no longer going to act anymore well, I'm, I'm just going to have a guy follow me around for the next two years with a video <laughs> camera i mean yeah. that's totally acting and we should mention it's directed and filmed by casey affleck which was his brother-in-law. I didn't know that before the movie. Well, and it was starring Anton Famous. as, or Anthony <laughs> as Anton, or was it Anton as Anthony? But maybe, yeah, that's his nickname, Anton. But no, I don't know. Who but was Anton? The guy that crapped on him. him. Yeah, uh, that was the best. So I guess part Casey of must be married to Joaquin. <clears throat> Well, if it's his, he's his the first start, they started showing Joaquin hugging and kissing guys at the beginning of the movie. <laughs> Even John Travolta, and I always knew John Travolta was gay. I just <laughs> didn't realize that JP was gay. Well, yeah, so what if he's married to someone? I mean, come on, that's yeah, just know, all front because he's an actor. Mm -hmm. I mean, come on. Yeah. So my favorite line in the movie was, um, "Is it that your dream is unattainable, or you just had the wrong dream?" <laughs> Yeah, and I think it was the wrong dream for the most part. It was the wrong dream, man. Um, I like when he read the awesome book. Oh, yeah. Marcus has that book? Yeah. He called it the awesome dream book because oh, it's, yeah. it's a book about dreams. About yeah. most people give up on their dreams or they dream about stupid things like telephones or matching silverware or furniture. He didn't get into that. Cookies. Part, but, yeah. yeah. Have you, do you have a dream? Oh, yeah. What is it? 
to be a filmmaker. <laughs> have you ever given up on that dream? No. Have you ever sniffed some cocaine off a hooker's titty? No. All right, you're right on track. <laughs> Keep it up, buddy. <laughs> have you ever perused the online hookers and thought about what their buttholes would smell like? Like I said, I've seen a lot of documentaries. Um, yeah. In terms of a documentary, I'll give this a point five stars. <laughs> Wait, and why is that? Because you didn't like the documentary or you didn't like the subject? I didn't like the documentary. I thought his life was boring, and like he said, <laughs> he wanted. Funny, but... No, he uh, said he wanted to leave something for this world to remember. What was that? He wanted to have something inspiring for this world to remember. Uh, his yeah. life was quite He's frankly like pitiful. He's made a lot of good movies. Huh? He's made a lot of good movies. He's yeah, who gives a crap? Not made for an Oscar. I've told a lot of people hi. And a lot of people passing. really love that movie, Walk the Line. <laughs> yeah, he made a good Johnny Cash, but I think he took a little bit <laughs> too much from Johnny. Beautiful. If you want to send us our movies to review, send them to... Our movie movies talk, to review? Your movies to review. Yeah. Send them to Movie Talk Attention, Tim Hellman, 904 Southwest Fifth Street, Corvallis, Oregon, 97333. Or, them on the show. if you have a turd that you want to put in a box <laughs> and send it to that... Address. Pre mentioned address, you can do that too. Mm -hmm. And if you don't really want it to go to Tim, you can always address it to uh, Gash, <laughs> aka Dave, yeah. and he'll get it too because he lives at that same address. <laughs> but not in the same room. No. Well, sometimes. Yeah. He, he lives with my ex girlfriend, Teresa. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to vote for best local celebrity at the Alchemist Awards, you can vote for Ed Melvin. Oh, thanks and for you can vote for John Muse for best drummer. For some bitch. Huh. Or, wow. or Ben Nelson if you've got any. Did that movie really remind you kind of of your life when people thought the some bitch breakup was a hoax? <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that, it, that's, it, they it did. That was all they, yeah. It, well, yeah, they, people came up to me later and they said, man, you guys were pretty funny up there. What, they go, well, what, what happened to the, the they go, what happened to the big fat guy? I go, Skylar, he's right here. What are you talking about? I highly recommend watching this movie if you have nothing to do for an hour and 45 minutes on 47. a rainy, oh, for, <laughs> an hour and 47 minutes on a rainy uh, December or January day in <laughs> Albany, Oregon. My final thoughts are if Ed gets picked for you know, Buffalo Celebrity and becomes a huge star, that this doesn't happen to you. <laughs> well, with you, yeah, yeah, life, totally with you as an assistant, it probably will. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And I'll be filming a documentary like <laughs>